Trump promises ideological screening for immigrants during Florida rally during a rally in Kissimmee, Florida this Saturday. Trump promised an even more extreme version of his 2017 travel ban during a rally in Kissimmee, Florida this Saturday. Trump promised an even more extreme version of his 2017 travel ban. As the Daily Beast reported, this is something he rolled out last month not long after the Hamas attack in Israel. Donald Trump's travel ban is back and more extreme than ever. The former president rolled out a new and more ideologically driven version of his 2017 policy at a rally in Iowa on Monday, first revealed in excerpts released by the Trump campaign. He called for strong ideological screening for all immigrants entering the United States, in addition to suspending refugee resettlement by reinstating the Trump administration's 2017 travel ban, which was targeted primarily at majority Muslim countries. Trump pegged the new travel ban to the recent Hamas terrorist attacks in Israel. Trump listed several ideologies that would disqualify someone from immigrating to the United States. If you empathize with radical Islamic terrorists and extremists, you're disqualified. If you want to abolish the state of Israel, you're disqualified, Trump's prepared speech read. If you support Hamas or the ideology behind Hamas, you're disqualified, and if you're a communist, Marxist, or fascist, you are disqualified. Trump said that he would bar potential refugees from Gaza, the first time he's included the territory on his blacklist. We aren't bringing in anyone from Gaza, Syria, Somalia, Yemen or Libya or anywhere else that threatens our security, he said. Trump also promised to begin the largest domestic deportation operation in American history, specifically target toward all the illegal aliens from countries that hate us. Here's Trump this Saturday touting the policy again, along with a huge heaping helping of projection about how supposedly stupid, incompetent and corrupt Joe Biden is. Trump. I can't think of one thing in three years that these people have done that is good. But Biden got up, Biden got up and he said, we have no ammunition. Now, number one, we should never be put in that position, but assuming it's true, who the hell would say it? Do you think President Xi of China and Putin and all these, you think they hear that statement and a little bit? They can't believe what's happened to this country, you. No, they respected our country when I was there. They respected your president, I will tell you that, and so did Kim Jong-un of North Korea. They respected us, and we were safe because they respected us. We were very, very safe and they never talked to us the way they talked to this group. I mean China talks to us like we are, like we're children, which we basically are mentally if you look at our leaders. They're less than children. I just met some children are far smarter. They're like six years old. They're smarter than Biden, by a lot, and that would include in his prime. I'm not just talking about. On day one I will restore the Trump travel ban, on entering, from having. People that like to blow up our shopping centers and kill our people and do lots of bad things. Entry from terror-plagued terrorist countries. We will not allow people to come in, and we will implement strong ideological screening for all immigrants. We did that and it was unbelievably successful. It was done at the Supreme Court, they approved it and a lot of people were a little surprised but it was a great thing, and you know, again, we had no problem. I didn't talk about it, but I talked about it as soon as I left, I talked about it, because it was an amazing thing we did. We were having a lot of problems like World Trade Center, like a lot of other problems, and we had no problem during that four-year period, because they knew they cannot mess around. We had it tight. If you hate America, if you want to abolish Israel, if you sympathize with jihadists and then you don't want your country to do well, you don't want your country to be successful, you're just not going to get in, you're not getting in. You're not coming into our country. On every policy from the border to energy, from immigration to education, crooked Joe Biden always takes the side that helps America's enemies, every time. The guy doesn't have a clue. He helps the enemies, and now we know why. Because Joe Biden is corrupt and he's incompetent and he's totally compromised. They are bribing our president. They are bribing our president. And you see this, this week the House Republicans published explosive evidence and I tell you, they have done a great job. They've really done a fantastic job. They really have. You can rest assured, whatever Trump is. Accusing Biden of applies to him or he's done it himself.